Um, let, let, let's get a little happier about the Rockies, all right? They are playing pretty good they're baseball. Playing great they're playing baseball, very good on the baseball. Road. They're 5-2. and two. They're winning games on the road. They're shutting out teams on the road. Kind of crazy. So I know it's only one week out of a six-month season. I know it's been only one time through the starting rotation. I know everybody's still healthy. Um, how much do we read into this 5-2 and two start? What does it mean? Well, that's why I sort of said what I did. I get off to this start. I'm the owner. I'm now going to be the owner, and you're going to be a fan. And I say to you, you say to me, well, you're 5-2. and two. And I'd say, yeah, we have the best offensive lineup in baseball. And you would say to me, I'm sorry, I'm playing both roles. That's all right. You would say to me, well, yeah. Then you think you're going to keep that up? I would say to you, you know, I have the best offensive lineup. I'm going to go and sacrifice a couple of these guys who probably will never play in a major. Trevor Story. Trevor Story. Okay, maybe he'll replace Tulowitzki someday or be a second baseman in major leaguers. Okay, I got an outfielder that's wandered around. Uh, who's Wheeler? Wheeler? Wheeler. Tim Wheeler. Wheeler. Who may or may not be a star in the major leagues. I'll trade those two guys in Will and Rosario, and I'll get a starting pitcher that's a guy that's a number two or number three starter. Because I know ultimately my rotation's not going to be very good. So am I excited about this? No, because there's no light at the end of the tunnel. There's nothing but a burnout ball down there. And you saw, when you covered them, you saw a lot of fast starts. Yeah. Some ended up in a playoff appearance in 07 and 09. Most did not. In fact, most ended up in, in very bad seasons. So you tell us, I mean, what's going on down in that clubhouse right now? How are they thinking? Can they build on what they have going on? Or is it just so, such a small sample size? You really can't read anything into this right now. Well, I'd be ca cautious about reading too much into it. But there is hope for a couple reasons. One, the fact that they have an actual catcher who knows how to call pitches, understands pitch sequences, and can get young pitchers, wow, great concept, out of a jam. Eddie Butler didn't pitch well yesterday. <laughs> no, a lot of traffic. If William Rosario's catching that game, they lose 8-2. to two. It's game over. Hunley got him through that game. Hunley, you watch how he dealt with that. Six court. walks, I think. Six walks. And he had bases hits. loaded the yeah. first two. In. He had eight base runners in the first three innings. They, the Giants stranded 12 altogether. And eight in the first three innings. Yeah. That's impossible not to score. They got out of it. That doesn't happen with Rosario. With his pitch sequence, and you can't throw off-speed pitches to Rosario with runners on third base. Guys didn't trust him. I mean, that's just a fact of the matter. They were very reluctant to throw sliders, anything in the dirt. With Willine. You end up at the backstop. Backstop, yeah. pass ball, and that's going, or excuse me, wild pitch, that's going on the pitcher. That's an earned run. And the second thing is, they've been very decisive in their decision making this year. Where, decisive whether, where Breidich, <laughs> You're well, I'm just, Breidich and Weiss are finally on the same page. With Guyvet in there last year, nobody was on the same page. O'Dowd was on one page, Guyvet was on one page, and the team was in a different book. Well, it's a great point. That's with O'Dowd and Guyvette, they had far too much patience with guys who we found out couldn't play. Right. Breidich is giving guys a quick hook. He got Latroy rid of Shashin. Hawkins. Troy Hawkins. But, but my point, yeah, it started just... in camp when they, they got rid of Shashin when they needed pitching. Yeah. They had no pitching in camp, and they cut Shashin. Mainly, and I was told it's because they don't want him to use three or four starts here to go, oh, yeah, you're right, can't pitch anymore. You know, And he signed with the Indians today, I believe, in a minor league deal. But the point is, why – waste three or four starts here to figure out that he doesn't have it. Why waste another year of Willene Rosario to say, oh, I guess you're right, can't catch. So I like the fact they're being decisive. And that does go over well in the clubhouse, especially with Cargo and Tulo, that they see like, hey, they're making moves to help us win. LaTroy, you're a professional. You got to handle it. You're going to the seventh inning. Rafi's going to close, bet in court, and it may be out of vino. But we're not going to blow five saves and then decide to make a change. Rex Brothers because, sent down and very I said quickly that, with a Rex bad Brothers minor league Rex should have been camp. traded at the end of last year. Yeah. He doesn't have it anymore. That, but that was another move. Exactly, Les. I'm with Why you. Why waste three or four games? They can't afford to lose three or four games that they're winning late. So they're making decisive moves. That, what does it mean in the big picture? It means nothing unless their starting rotation gets better. Their starting rotation still isn't very good. And you can't win in that division with a rotation that's going to have an ERA around five. Because everyone's, oh, their bullpen's great. The bullpen will be smoked by June 1st. Yep. Bullpen can't throw said, nine that's, outs that's to 12 outs a night. It's they, not built for that. There are so many optimistic things here. Hunley, you're right. Jorvit and Joe Girardi. The years they win, they had a great defensive catcher. The, Case and those close. Were two, the two guys that really were hardcore great catchers. Knew how to handle the staff. For pitchers. Yeah. They've got those people healthy. Tulo and Cargo are healthy right now. 
Do we know whether they're going to be healthy? Let's assume they are. Okay, let's go with the optimistic that they're going to be. That Arna, Arenado and Dickerson are going to play as well as they're playing right now. Well, they go with that. Go get them a little bit more help. Go get one pitcher. Sacrifice some of that crap you have in the minors. I mean, all we hear from Dick Monfort, oh, Topps voted us the best minor league system in, in baseball. Topps is a baseball card company. Yeah, they look good well, on baseball well, guys, cards. Well, guys, I'd even be... Uh, I, I'd consider giving up a bat, a good bat, if it I'd, meant getting good pitching at the deadline. I'd trade Charlie Blackman right now. Well, I keep you have you enough. Keep with you, it. you have enough 100%. to platoon through his. I can, advocated you, that in the offseason. You can bring your offense down a little bit. Offense comes and goes. The only way you can contend consistently is if you pitch. You can win at home by mashing, but typically it gets good starting pitching. It's hard to win it even at Coors. Yeah. Well, so you have Blackman. David what, Dahl's going to be here in a year and a half. He's going to be a star as an outfielder. You could trade Blackman. Now, I wouldn't trade Dickers because Dickers, I think he's going to win the d- batting title he's this year. He's got a special oh, yeah. bat. He's that good. Yeah. But those are the proactive moves. I've talked with Billy Bean about this a lot. He's like, less he said, it's a zero-sum game. Don't worry, worry what you're giving up. Only worry about what you get back. That was what they used to tell me with Ian Stewart. We can't trade Ian. What if he goes to the Padres and he hits? What if he goes to the Diamondbacks and he hits? And who cares? He yeah. didn't hit for you. <laughs> And he didn't hit for anybody else. And he hasn't hit. <laughs> and you held him until he had no value. You did it with Ionetta. You did it with Garrett Atkins. You did it with Ian Stewart. You did it with Jason Jennings. You hold them. You did it with Spilly. The guy I still talk to him, Ryan. Sp- you hold them until they have absolutely no value. The other team wants to trade for him. And the acquiring team is, I'm acquiring a fourth outfielder. And they're like, no, we're trading a two outfielder. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. So, Get be proactive. That's why I like cutting Tashin, demoting brothers, and demoting Hawkins. But let's get somebody in here that's a positive, a pitcher. Let's get somebody that can work well, six more innings. It's going to be through trade. Oh, yeah, obviously, well, this fine. Point, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, not, it won't be Hamels. But that's not realistic. But you, that second tier guy, you got to be in on right now. You, you got to be in on that guy right now and trying to get arms. All right.